LTS Adventures and Tyler. And um, we got our first Universal Yums box. And we are going to be opening it and trying the snacks for you guys. And this is our first one. And it's... I'm just going to show you all this part. The name is La Ilha Formosa. But I looked that up. Can you get it out my face? <laughs> I looked it up. And um, even Universal Yums themselves said that that's Taiwan. But that's just, I think, what the name used to be originally. But yeah, so um, he's going to open this up for us. And we are going to, we'll show um, what it looks like. And he'll hand me the little pamphlet on the top. I let him handle the knife. Because, I mean, I know how to handle a knife. But I just let him do it. So, and we got the small one um, for the first one, but we do, we're going to stick with the small one for a little bit, um, but we will eventually try the big one. Um, they have three, actually, sizes. Um, the small one, this one, is like $14, but we actually got this one um, for like 10 and some change for our first one, um, because it, um, there was a coupon since it was our first one for like 15% off or something like that. I don't remember. I found the coupon code actually on Facebook. Um, so... Yep, we are Taiwan. I guess that's what their flag looks like. Mm -hmm. And this is the little, if you've never done this, it comes with a little pamphlet. And it's got um, like some little history, some trivia, some trivia. And then it shows, tells you what each thing is, which we're not going to look at right now. Oh. Okay. And there's a recipe. Hmm. That's me. You gotta describe which one of them are. So. And then the um, <coughs> it shows. There's a thing at the bottom on the very back that's like a clue to the next month's box. So yeah. So we're just gonna get started. On the first one. The very first one is. It's actually a Universal Yums exclusive. I saw the hint on Instagram, but it's an exclusive. I don't know why I have to show the book. What is it? But it's called Pop Smile Bubble Tea Popcorn with Black Tea Flakes. It don't really even show. Is, do we not have that? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a big bag. But it's a... Oh, okay. I didn't know. I didn't realize what it looked like. Yeah, because it's a Universal Yums exclusive, so it's not actually, um, like, packaged pretty like these. Um, so, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but it says this um, popcorn was custom created for Universal Yums to bring a taste this popcorn. of Taiwan's famous tea to you. Um, and if you guys are familiar with it, their Taiwan is famous for bubble tea, and it has, like, little black, like, bubble things at the bottom of the tea. Um... I'm not going to read this whole thing, but it's just, um, it's got sweet bubble tea coating and a sprinkling of real black tea flakes. Um, so yeah. Going to smell it. Let's see what it looks like. I the only bad stuff like I like in popcorn over. is the caramel popcorn. So where are you going to? I like fresh stuff. Oh, it smells. It smells like tea, that's for sure. Like, I smell tea, like, you know. Yeah. Not like sweet tea like the Southerners like, but, you know, just like green <clears throat> tea, like healthy tea stuff. So, we got something to drink just in case this is nasty, because this is our first official one, so. Mm hmm. I'm gonna try this popcorn. Mm hmm. Definitely tastes like tea. But it's not bad. It's not bad, no. That's pretty good. It's a funny taste at first, but then at the end you yeah, get the tea. Yeah, because you get that tea. No. But then now at the end I get like the like the aftertaste is like for real tea. Yeah. But it's pretty good though. I would I would definitely keep eating that. So I'm keeping that bag. Mm. Usually it wouldn't be my go-to snack, but I mean if it's nasty I'm throwing it in the trash. Just to be honest, but that's pretty good. All right. Seems like they like corn. Are we going to rate it as we're going? Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. On the back of the card, 
at the top of the box you rate the um the yums best yum runner up worst yum or most unusual and um if you actually go on social media like instagram and you um tag universal yums you could possibly win some of your a box of your favorites um and then they also have like little um i don't know what you call that like a little puzzle and you use the letters to find out um something down here about next month so we'll just try them and kind of keep them in mind so like those ones was the first one so i mean for me those were good but we don't know yet which is going to be the best the worst the unusual yeah. whatever so we'll just kind of do that towards the end i'm just marking it right here yeah i'd say it's a three for me what about you yeah well no i'd say probably about a oh no i liked it i i'd say like a four that'll come off but so we can kind of do our just we're kind of rating down. it from one to five so I, he gives it a three i give it about a four so that's pretty good all right, yeah. the next one is a seaweed corn bar. This is what mm. it looks like. Um, let's see. So it says seaweed is commonly found in Taiwan. Um, not just at the beach. Here, the oceanic plants are a favorite snack food enjoyed as a dried treat or as a flavoring in chips, puffs, and crackers. So... The corn and seaweed blend perfect for a delicious sea salty treat with just a hint of sweetness. Once it's gone, you might just start eyeing. You might just start eyeing what's left on the beach. And it's supposed to be like a bar. So yeah, it's it's like a it looks. This is like a Cheeto. Like it's it's hollow in the middle. It's got a texture of a Cheeto. Oh, it smells good though. It smells all right. We might have to just kind of bite it. Yeah, yeah, just take turns, but I'll take the first bite. Tastes good on my hands. Mm. You don't like it? Now, when you, after he's bit it, I smell, like, the actual part. Like, on the outside, it smells sweet, but this, it smells like corn. I didn't like the taste. doesn't really have it's got flavor. a taste it's got a taste I don't like it Oof. I don't like it Oof. it doesn't I mean at first it, you taste like the sweet that's on the outside because it says just a little bit of sweetness so you taste that sweetness on the outside for me at first and then you just kind of get just like a corn like a cheese puff but without the cheese it will be just like a corn puff um, what would you say I'd give it maybe like a three. Because it doesn't it have a zero. whole lot of flavor. For me, it didn't have a whole lot of flavor except the outside. Because, you know, your tongue touches that outside and it gets that sweet. So the next thing is the fried looking things. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were 95 cents. <laughs> um, these are... Well, you don't really show what they look that. like. Show what they look like. You haven't even really been shown. Okay, that's the package. And these are Kadena Salted Fries. It says French fries in a box from Taiwan. Just give us a moment. We'll, we promise it will make sense by the end. Um, they've in the past 20 years they've been a big hit. Been hit with a bit of the fast food fever. Um, let's see. You can't find them in the. Okay, let's see. Interested in rice patty burgers, squid pizza, or clustered egg tarts? You can find them there. In fact, Taiwanese fast food culture has become so popular that in the past two years. The Taiwanese have overtaken Americans in terms of eating out. They do it 30 times a month versus our 20 times a month. So that's why we included the fries. At this point, they eat more than they eat them more than we do. And y'all, so it they're looks, just so they're just fries. Yeah, but they're like chips, Dry, but fries. Yeah, yeah. They literally look like like a McDonald's French fry. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and they have a little skin on the bottom too that make it even look like. You know, like Wendy's fries. You know, they have the, and they, they have salt. Unless that might no, be that, a place from the other salt. thing. <laughs> they're salt. It says they're salted. So let's really. Y'all, this is literally a French fry. 
Just a dried out french fry. But it's a crunchy. <laughs> but it's a crunchy one. So like instead of, you know, frying it, you know, like soft. It's like they fried it to be crunchy. That's really good. And it's cute. The box to me is cute. I mean, the bag. It looks That's like a bad. box of fries. <laughs> Not too much salt at all. No. You know, you go to McDonald's. It felt and, like it was too salty, but it wasn't. And you get... But there, that salt on that felt really fine. Like, like you know, our salt is, you can feel it for real. That's like, I barely even feel it on my fingers. So I'm definitely going to give that a five. What about you? Five also? Yeah. So far, I think that one and the first, like the popcorn, is my favorite so far. Yeah, I like All the right. so far. The next one is this one, green pack. You're gonna like that one. All right, these are Mincher Spicy Scallion Sticks. It says, looking for something hot and spicy? This is going to disappoint you. Though there's no shortage of flavorful food options in Taiwan, you won't come across many that are spicy. The Taiwanese tend to avoid excessive heat. And when they do use the spicy ingredients, they're mellowed out with sweet ones. Needless to say, these spicy scallion sticks are not anywhere near fiery. Not with that. a sweet honey coating mixed with scallion, sesame, garlic, and a touch of chili pepper, they're the perfect balance of sweet and just barely hot. Sweet and sour. Ooh, that smells good. I smell the garlic for real, yeah. y'all. We about to scare away some vampires. Looks weird. I thought they were going to be... Oh, I thought it said sticks. Like, it was going to be like a packet of, no. you know, like, sticks. But that's a... They like... When they eat a snack, they want that thing to be huge. Just like that other puff thingy. So, it's got sweet, and it's got garlic, and it's got sesame, and there's a little touch of chili pepper. Kind of. It's so, hollow. Like, it's... It's hot. <laughs> it's like a... No, there's a spicy with it. You probably won't like it. Look okay, at you dropping stuff. Mm. It just went on my pants. I see the little red... Didn't know there was going to be <laughs> stuff inside. But you see the little red. It's definitely spicy. I'm scared. But I see the the scallion. That's the little green things. That's the little green um, yeah, yeah. onions. That's spicy. good. Wait till the end to get spicy. Not unless you didn't get the one with a lot of hot oh, stuff no. on it. I didn't bite it like I don't like you did. I bit just a little piece. You need to get it to get the full effect. Oh yeah, I got some that one. <laughs> it's good. That's really good. It makes me think like I'm eating Chinese food. And like the um But it's not really Chinese. The um they said there was a sweet honey coating. It's like a, the honey you can definitely tell is there because it's kind of gummy. Like it kind of feels gummy. Ooh, yeah, that spicy is hitting me now. <laughs> yeah, it hit you at the end. It, after it sits there for a minute. Yeah. Like air hits it when you're talking and it's like, whoop. So I think I'm just going to give it a four. Because it's pretty good to me. Oh, no, I'm going to give that a five. That was bomb. Okay. So far, all of these I like. Now, I know that one you didn't like. Yeah, I didn't. It was the little... So this, far, I think the... the thing. It was this one, right? The, the corn, corn thing. bar, yeah. That one so far is my least favorite, but it was still good. It's not been my favorite favorite. He don't like it. I think it's because it said seaweed. No, I don't like the taste of the seaweed part. <laughs> the corn was alright. But if you but... go to, like, Walmart and stuff, you see sometimes they have actual, like, pieces of seaweed that's been dried and, like, fried as chips. People eat them. Oh man, my box. lips is burning. Mm. My lips is on fire. What's that? Mm. Mechi. Um, we'll just read it. Mochi. This is a Thai. This is Taiwan peanut butter choco ball. Think Reese's is the only one that can do chocolate and peanut butter justice? Just wait until you try this treat. With its creamy peanut butter center, fluffy mochi, 
and rich chocolate shell, there's a whole lot of surprises waiting for you. The biggest of all, the Ooh, fact that it's distinctly Taiwanese, even though mochi is originally from Japan. Um, they put them in four see. separate, four separate uh, things. It's still talking about Japan, you know. Yeah. I wonder what mochi is though. It well, we're about to find out. It doesn't tell what it is, but in a way, I want to kind of figure out what it is when I eat it. Like, where's the box? I want to see the pretty box. Oh, that's struggle. See if it looks like a... Not struggle no more. I like that they have the nutrition facts in, like, they got it in English Ooh. and all the... You can smell the Japanese chocolate. And in English. You can definitely smell the chocolate. Oh, it says peanut jam inside. It takes you. Oh. But it takes you to the happy feeling. Whatever that one. No, it says it takes to you the happy feeling. So I guess you're going to like it. But I wonder what mochi is. It's something white. Oh, that was a refresh pack. I mean, it might be it like fresh. a. Because it says it contains peanut, milk, and soybeans. So it might be. Something milky, like a something from like milk. I don't really know. I wish I could. They come in their little separate individual things. But it says and a little royal rapper. family since 1986. This is a pretty box. Yeah. This is That's... a cute little fancy box. Got gold on it and everything. Fancy, fancy. And they put the little. They're really soft. Well, these. I mean, it took. The, this box shipped on Saturday and we got it today, so. No, I mean they're they're not like melted, but I'm just they're soft oh, yeah, because that, of the stuff. If like, they compare this to a Reese's, they got some standards to live up to because Reese's is the bomb, and they mentioned Reese's in there. Mmm. Oh. Wait a second. That's a weird texture. That mochi is like. Mmm. That peanut butter is good though. Show it was okay until I got the texture of that mochi. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The peanut butter is delicious. Mm -hmm. The chocolate on the outside is delicious. But I'm fixing to get my phone and look up mochi and see what we eating because it's like it's like as if they took like gummy, like a gummy, like a fruit snack. Yeah. You know that texture, like that gelatin stuff. And put peanut butter in the, like shot peanut butter in the middle of it and dipped it in chocolate. Mm. The peanut butter is good. I don't know if I like that. A little waxy still. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, little, there's, there's the some English. Stuff don't have a flavor, but it's just a very weird. There's some English on this box. Texture. Yeah. But it don't really tell me what it is. I'm a Google mochi. But in the meantime, the next one, I'm going to say for me so far, I mean, I'm going to say that's like a two. But for me so far, I'm gonna I think. I'm going to definitely say a one for me. Well, so far, that's the most unusual for me because I was not expecting. Because on that box, it almost looks like it's some type of like milky yeah. white substance. But <laughs> I mean, I would probably not eat the rest of this box. Like yeah, that, not. that box is probably gonna go bye-bye. Like the, I'm talking about the box of these things. So the next thing, in a moment I'll look up mochi and figure out what it is. Yeah, we'll the look it up The next thing anyway. is, um, Mincher Taco, I mean, Taro Wafer. Well, what's that strange looking vegetable on the package? Glad you asked. Say hello to Taro. Potatoes, tropical, purple flecked cousin. With a complex nutty flavor and extremely versatility, taro is beloved in Taiwan. Oh, it looks exactly like the, the vanilla mm -hmm. wafers. Let's see. Exactly like They that. have a taro festival, so apparently this thing is a big deal. Um, so yeah, whatever. It's potatoes cousin, so it's something related to a potato. Did you lose our taro wafer? Nope, I about did. 
but um the floor about had it it's a purple veggie i don't know what to expect with this because they dedicate a whole festival to it um they have a mascot Ooh, it kind of tastes mm. It's like a vanilla it's wafer, a, but the taro, it's taro cream. That's taro, exactly what taro, I said. Taro, I don't really know exactly. And it almost looks like peanut butter in there, but... It's got a bland taste to it. It's not really... It's not really nasty, it's just bland. You don't... You don't taste anything. All you taste is the wafer. Mm. You don't like it? Mm. I mean, it was alright as... It's better than that chocolate thing right there. No. I like how I eat the chocolate thing all day before I eat that. I mean... That, that was in the purple packet, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's no really flavor, but the flavor that it has is like... It's like a bleh flavor. I don't know. It's just... Yeah, like he says, like bleh. It's just a bleh. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm eating cardboard. <laughs> like a piece of cardboard. I Not know. wood chips this time. <laughs> I know in our candy bar video we said we were eating wood chips, but um, this is like cardboard. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm just eating, you know, like an ice cream cone, how it's just kind of a bland flavor, especially like the cups, ones that are, that's what I feel like I'm eating. It's just no flavor at all whatsoever. So it ain't good to me. Now, I want something with flavor. <laughs> so yeah, this can just kind of be gone, sister. I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to say like a one. <laughs> I wouldn't right. say a zero, but I'm going to say a one. So that's my least favorite. So far. And then... Oh, goodness. This might be spicy. It's the red bag. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So this last... Or, well, not the last. Because there's, there's always a bag of candy, but... Too much glare. This is called... Nice choice, five spice crackers. Ooh, pepper crackers. Um, and there are five different spices in it. Um, they, the spices come from a ancient Chinese recipe that attempted to create a natural healing wonder powder. Ooh. Um, that to heal people. Um. It says, though there are variations of the five, most blends are com comprised, com whatever, of fennel, anise, cinnamon, cloves, and pepper. But when we tried these crackers, it felt like perhaps the five spices weren't all mixed in equally. We taste two of the spices quite profoundly. Can you guess which ones they are? It doesn't really... I taste cinnamon for sure. Yeah, that's the number one cinnamon. I can't say that word right, but... Cinnamon lemon. <laughs> cinnamon lemon. Um... But, yeah, I think they're pretty good. Yeah. But I don't know what fennel or anise or cloves or, I mean, I don't know what pepper tastes like, but I don't taste no pepper. Cinnamon is the most boom to me, but, <laughs> you know. They said they taste the two right off the bat, but I only taste the cinnamon. I taste something else, but I don't know what those other ones that they say in this book what tastes like. So, I was about to grab the wrong drink. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to get it a four. I definitely eat them. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, that's something I would sit and eat. Looks like this one blew up in the oven. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't taste like these are fried. It tastes like these are baked. Like, oh yeah, definitely. When what'd you say we would give it? A four. A four. All right. All right. The last things that we are have these the is candies? the bag. Yep. Yep, the candies. You don't have to use your microphone. The candies. I need some drink. Does it say? Oh. I've seen people online do these, and like with theirs, sometimes it'll have like a bit, a pretty little logo right here that says like the Yum Bag or something, because it's called the Yum Bag. And it, there's just two of them apparently, two different ones. There might be different flavors of that one, but 
see which one is this, not the orange one. Um, the purple one. The purple one is Ooh. smoked plum candy. Um, let's see. Smoked plums are popular throughout Asia. The full-bodied fruits are used for a popular cold sour drink called Sawanmitang, which has been traditionally drunk during the summer for over a thousand years. You can experience the specialty be beverage for yourself with these smoked plum candies. So, like, basically we're going to taste, like, this candy tastes like that popular drink that they have. Um, it's a unique experience. Packed with intensely sweet and sour flavors, plus a hint of saltiness, this intriguing candy is like nothing we've ever tried before. One thing's for certain, this is a yum you won't soon forget. So it's sour, sweet, a little tiny bit salty. This cute little pack. Did you show them the pack? Mm-hmm. Cute little flowers on it. Do you taste anything sour? Your face looks like you got some sour now. This video is kind of long, but we got a lot to cut out anyway, so we just can kind of pull up right here. This one. Oh, it's per- Ooh, it stinks. It stinks, and it's- It's- Brown. I mean, it's probably tastes a lot like plum. I don't- You don't taste that. Ooh, it, hold on, hold on, hold on. It ta you I know taste- I taste- I smell smoke flavor. <laughs> like smoke. <laughs> like if you're smoking you this. some meat outside. We- We smoke- barbecue butts, we smoke ribs, we smoke turkeys, chickens. Literally. I feel like I'm about to eat that. Yes. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like pure smoke. And I don't like that. I don't like tasting pure smoke. Just let it simmer a little bit. <laughs> mm -mm. Just sit there and taste the aftertaste. Mm-mm. It's just pure smoke. I don't taste no plum. I don't taste no saltiness. There's a little hint of sour. Just a small hint, but yeah, there is a sour. big hint of smoke. And I like smoked meat, but <laughs> not smoked candy. That was just too much. <laughs> I'm going to give that one a goose egg. And I already know your answer. It's like a negative 50. <laughs> <laughs> it was not good. So, so far, guys, this is the worst. I, I don't yeah, like it. That woof. I'm sure of all the people that try this box, probably won't like it either. This is too much smoke flavor. If they put more plum and a little hint of smoke, all right. So, it'd be Taiwan, okay. you're doing okay with your snacks, your crunchy stuff, but your candy sucks. Sorry, just gonna say it. That's just one candy so far. Well, we got one more to if try. The other one. Yeah, that taste is going to be in my mouth all night. Doesn't matter how much drink I drink. I Nope, that actually helped. It's not going to help me. Okay. So the last candy and the last item is black sesame milk candy. Whether on bagels, breadsticks, or hamburger buns, you've seen sesame seeds before. Um, but Taiwan, free. they prefer a different variety, which is black sesame seeds, instead of like the little white ones you know we have. Um, is black sesame any different than white sesame? The answer is yes and no. Both seeds come from the sesame plant, but the white seeds don't have a shell, while the black seeds do. This black gives this gives the black variety a more robust, slightly bitter flavor, um, but it isn't just their flavor that makes black sesame seeds unique. The seeds have been long praised for their extreme health benefits from quit. Smell it. Now that you have a better understanding of black sesame, you should be able to fully appreciate these Taiwanese black sesame milk candies. Fun to think of it with their super chewy texture and sweet toasty flavor, you probably would have enjoyed them with no explanation at all. It smells like sesame seeds. Is there only one? Oh, no, no it doesn't stink. Is it That's what chewy or hard? Seeds. Oh, it's chewy. Oh, no. I'd prefer it to be hard. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little munch off of it. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. You should have waited on me until I got my mm. It's like going to be like sesame seeds plus milk. Milk powder. Sorry. You know? If I could, if this was like smell-o-vision. Smell-o-vision.
It's not gonna. The smell makes your me breath. not want to like it. The smell made me not want to like it, but wait till you try it. It's like those. Okay. Those Chewy's peanut butter bars. I love them. It's not a bad taste. That's why I had to get another bite so I can taste it. I can't get past the smell. The sesame. The smell too. Then it's okay. Because it's very you chewy. You smell the sesame like strong. Like I swear, y'all could almost smell this through the phone. And you first bite into it. That's all I tasted was the sesame. But you gotta keep chewing. It's stuck in my teeth. So you gotta get past the smell too. Because the smell sorry is for like picking my mouth. bad. But I can't really chew anymore. It's really chewy. Like. Real chewy. It's good. Mm -hmm. But I just, I didn't like the initial sesame taste. I'm going to give that like a 4.5. I'm going to give it a 5. I'm going to say 4.5. I would not like go and buy like a bag of this candy. You know, like, you know, you buy candy and you don't usually buy up one little individual piece. You buy it by the bag. I would not go and buy this bag of candy. But like if somebody had it in like a candy dish, I might would pick up a piece or two and maybe eat it, but... I'm not going to finish this because I just can't get past the sesame seed smell. So, so if you want it, you're more than welcome. So what was the best yum so far? Oh, you're going to write my 4.5. Well, it doesn't matter because this ain't going to count. We're just rating it. They're not really wanting the rating. Just, so for me... um, I'd say the fried thing. I want a pen now because I'm going to take I a picture of this. I don't have a pen over here because I, I, I don't think I have a pen. Bear with us for a minute. Try and find a pen. Yeah, because she doesn't like my marker. Well, because I'm going to take a picture of it and upload it to Instagram. I don't know if I have a pen. Well, it's fine. Just See what you made me do? See what you made me do? We're going to call this up. No, we're not, because that was funny. Haha. <laughs> we're just going to use this. That's it even writing everything else right it all right so for you which one was the best the uh the, the french fry thing so for him it was the french fries it was these i'm just gonna put it to you um yeah i think i'll have to agree on that i think yep. um that was about the best Um, and what was your, like, your next favorite, your runner-up? Um, I'm gonna say the bottom one. The, um, candy that we just eat? Yeah. Um, for me, I think my runner-up would probably be that popcorn. So the little, the tea popcorn stuff. The worst for you. I already know my worst. The worst? What's the next one to it? Oh, the worst, let's see. What's the next one? The worst. Most, most what? Unusual. Most unusual. Okay, the worst would probably be this thing right here. For you, the worst was yeah, that? Yeah, that would definitely be that. I mean, it's a hard decision between that one and that Puff corn thing. thing. And For me, the worst was this candy. That little wannabe candy. <laughs> that made me want to throw up as soon as it hit my tongue. Just too much smoke flavor. And then most unusual. The most unusual is that because I've never had candy that tasted like smoke. Well, for me, I don't remember what... I had already said it in the video, but I can't remember which one. Oh, was the most unusual the for me was the little Reese, the... This thing. That. This thing. Because it wasn't bad, it was just 
you bite into it, you look at the box, and you don't expect it. If I would have, if we would have took the time a minute and actually Googled what that mochi was, or whatever it was called. Well, you called, can Google it now. We probably would have knew that it was going to be like a gummy thing, and we would have expected it. But because we didn't take the time to do that, we didn't know. So it caught me off guard for sure. And for you, what was the most unusual? This candy? Mm-hmm. The candy that I hated? All right. Google much. Oh, I got some hard in that piece. I'm just going to kind of draw about break my teeth off. All right. So, yeah. Google it real fast. So we're going to look up, what was it called? Mochi? Mochi. M-O-C-H-I. I got mochi ice cream. I don't need to see no pictures of it because it's... <clears throat> mochi is a short grained sweet glutinous rice with a high starch content used in Japanese cooking. I thought it tasted kind of starchy. So mochi is Japanese rice cake made of mochi gami, which is the rice. Yeah. The rice is pounded into paste and molded into the desired shape. In Japan, it is traditionally made in a ceremony called mochitsuki. So, it's basically <laughs> like a cake of rice. You know, rice is usually gummy if you don't yeah. cook, if you overcook it or cook it too much. Cook it not enough. It's gummy. It's got too much water. And yeah. so, they basically take it and they just make it into like a patty in the shape. And so, in this case, they probably made that ball shape and took a little needle and just shot that peanut butter in there and dipped it in chocolate. Yeah, they pro- yeah that. Ugh, it just that was that not. Better they wrapped it around or the either peanut butter. They may have rolled it out or something and spread peanut butter over it and just made balls and then dipped it. But yeah. that, it, ugh. I, I just, wish I would have knew that. I would have expected like rice. The taste was fine. It was just the the texture of that mochi. I don't. Yeah. That's what kind of you know. I hate to say it, but it kind of gagged me a little bit because I, I wasn't expecting it. I probably wouldn't eat it ever again. So we're not going to do the little puzzle on camera. We might do that um, later, but I was going to... The recipe on here is Taiwanese sesame noodles. Hmm. I have to, you know, maybe we might have to try that one day. Um, and then there's answer, like the answers to the questions. You have to read the little thing at the beginning to get the answers to those. Um, that's the secret puzzle. Oh, gosh. Okay, so it's the little puzzle at the bottom when you solve it. I just read the answer. I'm not excited for next month because it says pucker up. Next month, we're bringing you salty chips with, and the answer mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. Cider vinegar. Mm-mm. So basically, it'll always be like salt and vinegar chips. Um, but Which the clue, is not my favorite. The clue to next month's box says, The home of wizards, castles ornate, a hedge, milky tea, and a very famous Kate. That's not all. This kingdom is full of great yums, savory puddings, buttery biscuits, and mm. lots of other fun. Buttery biscuits. So, I don't really know. Kate. I'm trying to think of a very famous Kate. Like, somewhere that has, like, castles and wizards and stuff. I don't... I didn't pay attention in that part in class. I don't... So. I've always thought wizards were kind of fake, to be honest with you. I didn't know they really existed. Um, so yeah, and it said here, if you had our Yum Yum box or the Super Yum box, you could still be snacking. Um, and a few other things that they had was mango and white chocolate crepes. That might be pretty good. Um, plum flavored sweet potato chips. Yeah, that might be okay. I like sweet potato fries and chips, but... I'm gonna say it right now, that plum candy has ruined plum flavor for me. And then Coloco basil pea crackers, and they look like little Fritos, like the Frito twists. So that's just a couple extra things. Um, we want to try both of the bigger boxes. The Yum Yum box is the middle one that's got 
This one's supposed to have like six snacks plus the candy bag. The middle one's supposed to have like 12 and then they have like the super yum which is like 50 bucks and that's supposed to have like 24. So each one is like double the last. Yeah. Um, but I mean if you know it would just be fun to have a big big box you know you get more. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Taiwan you did alright. You just need to improve your candy making skills. Because the snacks were okay. They were pretty good. But the candy... Nah. I don't think so. I don't think you did a good job with it. So that was my opinion of the box. It was alright. It was alright for the first one. Just not... You know, I like candy a lot. But this candy just... It wasn't. Yeah. It was not up to par. But different countries enjoy different things. And if this is what the people in Taiwan eat... Hey, go for it. The snacks were okay. If I'm I ever, not going to eat it. If I ever go to Taiwan, I probably won't get no candy. <laughs> I'd get some snacks like these, but... So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching our video. And we're we'll, we're going to continue getting the boxes. Yep. Um, we'll still probably get the small one next month. Um, but possibly um, the next month after that, which would be September... We may try the next size up and do that one maybe a couple of times and then um, like maybe November. Well, I think the plan is going to be December. We're going to treat ourselves for Christmas and get the big box for $50. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, we will keep doing these boxes as long as you guys like these videos. Yep. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Um, and if you have any suggestions of anything that, of any boxes that y'all would like to see us try, or any snacks or anything like that that y'all like us to try please leave those in the comments down below i've heard of some other boxes like food boxes that i'd like to try um adventures ahead they do they've done several different ones that looked really interesting to me um so we might be trying those we might take a break from universal yums one month um and just give them a try different ones but do a manly one please well he wants to do a man manly type crate not nothing food related but it's still... So... <laughs> we don't have to eat food every time. Well, it's Foodie Fridays. Tell him, y'all. Comment down below. It is Foodie Fridays. It cannot be Foodie Fridays one time. It is. One time. We could do Fun Fridays, I guess. Yeah, Fun Fridays. We've got some other videos coming up. I'm trying to get him to do Bean Boozled with me. Because I went and bought it, and it's just sitting back here on my little desk. We were going to try it tonight, but um, I've had too many nasty flavors, so I don't... We'll do it, y'all. We'll do it. And we might get his sister in on it, because she told me yeah. that she was going to do it with me. So, you guys might be seeing that video sooner than later. And we've got some other stuff, you know. Um, our next March Madness Bracket taste test will probably... Possibly at this moment, we are thinking Pringles. Yeah, so if y'all yeah. have any favorite flavors of Pringles that you want us to do, comment those down below. I'm probably going to be doing a poll on Facebook. If, by the time you see this, I may have already started it. So Definitely comment because we definitely, need some um, suggestions. Get on Facebook. Um, I'm going to post it in the Lolita Local Cruising Community page like I did last time. Also on our, on our Facebook group, ELTS Adventures um, Cruising Slash Vacation Buddies. And then also on my personal page, which... You know, I'm Elizabeth. I'm not going to say my last name. Just to catch all some creepers um, out there spamming on me. Um, but find us on Facebook. Links will be below. All of our social media. Yep. Come back next week for another fun food video. Not man crate. <laughs> and we will see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Tonight we are running on the right track. Tone.